Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a book review and it's going to be Young Sherlock, Death Cloud. I've read this when I was in school because we have to read in form, so I was reading this. First thing about the book is it's got sellotape on it because when I first got it, it had like a cut at the bottom and then it ripped when it was in my school bag. So that's why it's got sellotape on it. If anyone was wondering, and it is pretty bad. Now, usually my books wouldn't be like this, but because when I bring them to school, it gets like this, and I absolutely hate it. But anyway, it's the on with the book. Why did I say on like that? Don't know what's wrong with me. So, this book is amazing. I really liked it because it didn't really take that long to get into the actual story because basically it's about Sherlock going to the countryside to love, love, live with his uncle but it was really good because Mycroft, his brother, he couldn't live with him because something was going on, it never said it properly in the book but something was happening and it was just so weird because suddenly there was just this cloud of smoke and you don't understand why I did that later and this person just had like loads of what seemed like boils on their body and later on in the story he realised that it wasn't boils like everyone was thinking oh it's like the bubonic plague or the black death it's back because it is based in victorian times which is why it's got a thing at the back which says a note about money and says each thing like one farming equals 0 0.1 pence and stuff like that but it was really good and it kind of helped me because in school we're doing about jekyll and hyde in english or we finished that now anyway and in history we're doing about like different things about medicine through history so it's got words like miasma which means bad smells and then it just kind of helped me when I was reading this and I was like oh I recognise that word from history and it just kind of helps you a lot when you've got other things around you when you don't really know that word that well because it does have some words that aren't really said that much today but it's not like gibberish the whole way through because it is for 11 plus so it's not total gibberish you can read it and understand it better than Jekyll and Hyde which is utter gibberish for most of it because there's too many words in a sentence it's like a paragraph of a sentence in Jekyll and Hyde it's crazy but getting on with this book it was really good and then he met a guy a guy a boy named Matty who's roughly the same age as him which is 14 and they kind of solved the mystery together along with Anna Chris Crow yes I don't know how to say his name and his daughter Virginia and it was just so crazy because it, I don't really want to spoil it but when you read it you'll know so I'm going to say what actually happens now, so spoilers! So what Sherlock actually found out, I found it so cool how it was like that because I was like well it's logical, it's a Sherlock book so it's got to be some logic, it's not like it's steam or smoke as they thought and then when I found out it was the killer bees I was like that makes so much more sense. When I found out that it was actually bees, the whole story made so much more sense because because Sherlock's meant to be logical and then I was kind of there like, well, it's not exactly going to be like a cloud of smoke coming off someone when they've just died because that's not very logical and Sherlock is logical and when I found out it was bees and it was actually swarm bees it kind of the whole story kind of fit like a jigsaw puzzle 
and it just made so much more sense and then they just kind of tried to figure out what was happening and why they were doing it as in the villain who I cannot remember the name um, but I don't really pay attention to names I just, just kind of read it but it was a really good book and I really liked it so I know this wasn't really a book review but I did really enjoy this book and I would totally read it out read it again out of 10 it would probably get a good 9 because I feel like it could be improved upon but I enjoyed it I enjoyed everything but I feel like it could be improved upon because some bits were not as good as other bits but that's always going to happen in books anyway so it's definitely a 9 out of 10 for me so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and like the content of this channel comment with any suggestions or any books that you'd like me to read or like anyone to read on this channel so that is it and bye bye